started on the cold of winter. There was three men we had to survive with nothing but a fishing pole and a worm. Oh, hey. I'm Casey Comstock. I'm your host, and you're watching 80K Adirondack Fishing Adventures. Stay tuned today. We're going to be off the shore of Lake Colby fishing for spawning perch with nothing but a micro jig and ultralight setup and trout worms. And, uh, you're gonna see a little bit of action today. Now you're gonna get a few bites here and there and you might wanna move up and down the shore here, but you can't get discouraged. You gotta keep on trying. Keep going for that fish. Cause there's a bite around every corner. So moving on. Iceberg. Better. <laughs> the Lake Colby not wall be in there. Another one for the pan. Well, folks, if you can watch what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm not just simply casting out. I'm throwing out, casting, let it drop. Give it a little bit of weight. Watch your slack and your line. Tighten the line up just slightly. Now, once it sets, you want to jig that perch in. Slowly just lift your rod. Let's do a little technique time, take a little minute to set aside. This little jig kit I'm talking about is a trout magnet, 164th ounce, gold jig head. Everything loves gold. But we'll take for a moment, we're gonna cast out, let it drop, give it a second. You're gonna see a slack in the line. And watch as I'm gonna slowly tighten a slack. We're gonna do this one step first. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see the slack in my line. Now I'm going to slowly tighten the slack. Now that we have a little bit of tension, we want to just let the perch see that little jig head. And we're going to, we're going to slowly we're going to lift up and jig and down. Now we're going to now we're going to adjust the tension again. And then we wait. And 
jig and adjust that tension right here. Now once you get close to your body, just simply reel it in, repeat, and see what happens. One thing I almost failed to tell you is, for whatever reason, trout worms. I've tried over the years here in this exact spot and all throughout the lakes, I've tried with the night crawler. You do get a few just not like the trout worm. Well, some of these piranhas have stripped my hook. I've re rebaited and uh, let's hook some more. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, that's, there's a flapjack. And I'm back. I had another brief pause. I was visiting with somebody and they stopped up to see how we're doing. It's always nice to be friendly to people and show them the techniques that you can. That way maybe they can go fishing. But uh, I'll show you what happened in the meantime. And I apologize for the loss of action, but. Yes, sir. That's another six to the stringer. Now, uh, I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna do a brief pause and I'll be back some more action here on ADK yeah welcome back uh, we just moved down the bank a little bit and the uh, water has really picked up on choppiness but uh, the fish bite actually picked up as well as you can see I got a, a nice hit four uh, brief pause in the video apologize for that but uh, I'm gonna pick you back up and uh, let's see what we're gonna do same methods just cast out let her drop, lightly reel in, get your tension, adjust, jig it in, like light lifting, set the tension, and uh, it's working real well for me right now, so let's see uh, how, how we do. Woo! Another one for the pan! for the pan. The waves, man. The waves are just picking up. Oh, yeah. These fish are tubular. Woo! Look at that. What I said, don't be stingy, change out the worm if it's getting beat up. Sometimes the action of the worm is no good. So we're gonna switch up bait and we'll be back here on ADK. And we're back. Switching things back up. I think it'll work. Well, so far you can see it's been a real successful day and that's one heck of a stringer. We're going to take a big break, we're going to be switching cameras, but uh, more to come.
You're on 80K.